What a do, Skibidi Boo, it's your boy Shiny Bee Gaming, and today we have a viewer request and a skin showcase for the Wise Hair Athena as support. If you are new to the channel, I add some commentary to a game that I've already played with the intentions of seeing what went right, what went wrong, and hopefully there's something that we can learn together. If there is something that we learn together, make sure you check out the channel and subscribe for more content. If you are a returning viewer, I feel like Athena has a really simple kit. She is a little bit stronger than she used to be, but I still don't think she's the best support. She is really annoying to go against, however. This game is a bit of a blowout. I don't know how the enemy team didn't surrender, but we had a blast playing it. So let's go ahead and jump into Athena's kit. Athena's one, preemptive strike. Athena powers up for a dash. While dashing, Athena's gonna pass through minions, stop and hit the first enemy god she encounters, dealing damage and slowing all enemies she hits. If she hits an enemy, Athena gains one stack of block, maximum of three stacks, absorbing the next basic attack from any god that hits her. The slow amount is 25% and the slow duration is 2.25 seconds. Athena's two, confound. Athena releases a shockwave of power from her shield, taunting enemy gods and forcing them to fight or chase her. The taunt duration is one second at level one, two seconds at level five. Athena's three, shield wall. Athena summons a group of Athenian warriors who do damage upon arrival, and after two seconds, strike for additional damage. Athena's ultimate, defender of Olympus. Athena picks a single allied god anywhere in the world and launches herself up in the air, landing next to that god 3.6 seconds later. During that 3.6 seconds, the allied god gains 30% damage mitigation. Enemies nearby when Athena lands take damage. And finally, Athena's passive, Reach. After using an ability, Athena's next basic attack is ranged. It'll pass through and hit all enemies and deal 50% increased damage to the first enemy hit. Reach's damage will trigger basic attack item effects, but not ability ones. We are in a little bit of trouble. We had some good pressure. We got out and then we stepped back in and that was our mistake. I don't think there's too much Rama's gonna be able to do and we go down. In terms of the leveling order, at level 1, we want to put a point to our 3, level 2, put a point to our 2, level 3, put a point to our 1, level 4, another point to our 3. We want to max out our ultimate whenever we can, max out our 3, max out our 2, max out our 1. In terms of the start, we started with Benevolence and Tier 1 of Gauntlet of Thebes. Benevolence is going to provide us 100 health, 10 MP5, and 7 HP5. It has a passive that every second you are not near an ally, you're going to gain 1 stack of Benevolence, up to a maximum of 50. For each assist, you gain 4 stacks. When you are within 7 units of an ally that is hurt, you will spend stacks to heal them and yourself for 0.15% of your maximum health per stack. For each stack consumed, you gain 1 gold, and it can be upgraded at level 17. We get rooted. Looks like Rama's backing, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way to mid. Get some great damage off. Thor is able to get his hammer off. That's all we're really gonna be able to do, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way back right. Kuzumbo is here, but there's not much he's going to be able to do to me, not much I'm going to be able to do to him. We're really just wasting each other's time right here. We're going to go ahead and hit the harpies. Let's see if we can get Neath's dash right here. I'm gonna go ahead and taunt. Gotta turn around, there's her dash. I'm gonna go ahead and activate her one, that's her beads. Pretty free beads pool right there. Kuzumbo's nearby again. Once again, we're not even gonna bother trying to attack him.
Need about another 50 gold in order to get got one of Thebes online. We're gonna go ahead back and oh, Sir Cat's here. We're actually in a little bit of trouble. Rama looks like he's in a bit of trouble. We're gonna go ahead back and see if we can ult in. He's using his ult. That should buy us a little bit of time. We're gonna go ahead and pick up Gauntlet of Thieves. We're gonna go ahead and ult in. We pop our shell. Activate it at three, two, get some good damage off. Thor comes in and we're able to clean up the Kuzumbo. Able to save the Rama. That's pretty big. Or the Rom, I should say. We went ahead and picked up Gauntlet of Thieves. Gauntlet of Thieves is going to provide us 300 health and 15 HP 5. It has a passive that assists on a minion to give you 1 stack and gods give you 5 stacks. Each stack is going to provide 1 physical and 1 magical protection. At 50 stacks this item evolves providing an aura of 10 physical and 10 magical protections. We are friends. We were just holding wave for Rama right there. We're gonna go ahead and make our way mid now that he's back in lane. Excellent. You fight well. You remind me of Enkidu. We don't care about your tick damage. We're gonna keep diving you. We're able to get the pick onto the cuckoo. We get pushed under tower. We're chilling though. Right now we're just trying to get our minions to get pushed under their tower. I feel like with Athena, you have a lot of downtime. You have kind of long cooldowns and until you can get some cooldown reduction online, you're really just chilling. Your taunt is a disgustingly strong ability. Your three does decent damage. Your one takes a little bit of time to charge up, but it's okay. Cuckoo's very weak. Let's see if we can do anything. We only have our dash. Thor's able to clean up Cuckoo. We're gonna go ahead and use our ult. Just go to the Thor. And we're out. We're gonna go ahead back, start working on Sovereignty. Go ahead, pick up a Health Chalice and two wards. An enemy has been slain. We might get pushed right here, but I think we're chilling. We get the taunt, taunt into the wall, activator three. It's a lot of good damage. We're gonna go ahead and charge in, let our team know like, hey, you can step under tower. But he uses his ultimate and knocks us out. We've almost got Gauntlet of Thebes fully stacked. We just need five more assists. I feel like Athena's combo is activate your 3, activate your 2, and then it kind of doesn't matter if you dash after or dash before. But you can also use your 2, then your 3. Like right there, I think if we used our 2, then 3, we would have taunted that circuit into the Merlin Flames, and then we could have used our 3. 
We teleport in. Thor is able to get the pick onto the Erlong. We get pushed into a tornado. Our team's pushing up on that cuckoo and they're able to get the pick. This Kuzumba is absolute. He goes down as well. Gold Fury is pretty open. We should be able to secure it. That's a free gold fury. Your left tower has been destroyed. We got to get the double taunt, the double three, and Merlin's able to clean up the cuckoo. We're to step under tower. Nobody's pushing, so we're just gonna step out. We're going to go ahead back and pick up Sovereignty. Sovereignty is going to provide us 250 health and 45 protections. As a passive, the allied gods within 70 units have their physical protections increased by 15 and their HP 5 increased by 35. The HP 5 increase is actually pretty strong. So you're getting an additional 7 HP every second. Your right tower is under attack. attack left lane. Enemy missing. On my way. So anyone who stands near us is going to gain physical and magical protections from gauntlets, physical and HP 5 from sovereignty. I think we just taunted him out of his dash. We're going to go ahead and work on the Pyromancer. The Pyromancer is going to allow us to get to lane a little bit quicker. It's going to provide our team with a buff that lasts for one minute. Whenever we leave Fountain, we're going to gain 40% increased movement speed for 15 seconds. Erlong's here, and Erlong stole that. That's super unfortunate. Sixteen to four, we're up about five thousand gold. We're going to go ahead and take some tower shots for the squad. Make sure everyone's out. Needs here. That's her backflip. Unfortunately, our two and three are still on cooldown. There's not too much we're going to be able to do other than just eat tower shots for our team. We do still have our shell. And we're out. We're in a little bit of trouble, we pop our shell. We're very weak, we're gonna activate our one. And we're able to make it out. Looks like we're going back in. That's three down on the enemy team. We might be able to push something. Yeah, we're too weak to do anything here. We're going to go ahead back, and we're going to start working on Pridwin. Pridwin, whenever we complete it, is going to provide us some cooldown, which is going to be very helpful for Athena. I don't love the Benevolence change. However, I still think Compassion is probably the best upgraded starter item. So we're going Benevolence to go into Compassion. Right 
Athena does have an attack chain. It is a single hit, single hit, and then an AoE hit. We're gonna use our ultimate onto the ROM. Dash up. That's her beads. And you got activator three, activator two, taunter into our three. We're gonna try to get Rom out of here. Thor ults in. Rom goes down. And dash up, chase down the Sir Cat. Roland's able to clean up the Sir Cat. Now it's just the Kuzumbo left. It's three down on the enemy team. We should be able to push something right here. Erlong is nearby, same with Cuckoo. We're pretty low on mana, but we still can fight right here. We're gonna go ahead and taunt them. Gilgamesh is going hard for it. Gilgamesh goes down. We're gonna have to fall back right here. Go ahead and taunt them into the tower. Do a little stare off with them, then Thor rotates in. Rom's able to clean up the Erlong. We should be good to back right here. Looks like we're gonna go for gold before backing. Attack the gold fury. Give him the left. Give him the right. Be on guard. With just Kuzumbo here, we should be able to confirm it. Our team's able to secure the Gold Fury. We are very weak, and you're going to pop a shell. Start falling back. We do have our ultimate to get back into this fight. We're going to go ahead and pick up Fridwin. Then we're going to pick up Heavenly Wings as our second relic or a sprint. We're going to get ult in. We will gladly dash through a Cuckoo Tornado. That doesn't scare us. We're able to clean up the Cuckoo. Rom's able to get the Kuzumbo. That's three down on the enemy team. We should be able to start pushing something. We went ahead and picked up Pridwin. Pridwin's going to provide us 30 physical protections, 30 magical protections, and 20% cooldown reduction. As a passive that when your ultimate ability is finished casting, you gain a shield equal to your protections for five seconds. When destroyed by timing out or being depleted, it's going to explode and deal magical damage equal to 50% of the shield's initial health and slow targets by 25% for 3 seconds. This effect can only occur once every 45 seconds. We get a good taunt onto a dashing Erlong. Go ahead activate our 3. Looks like our team is kind of scattered. There's two people on Merlin. There's two people pushing right. We get hit by a Cuckoo ult. We get the double taunt, activator three. I think this is no longer a favorable fight for us. We're going to start falling back. We're going to go ahead and use our ultimate to get back to the fight. We're going to go ahead and start working on Pestilence as well. Go ahead, activate our three. We intercepted the Neethalt. We're going to go ahead and get stunned. Don't lose hope. 
We are friends. Do not worry. We're gonna guys start working on the Pyromancer while we wait for our team to group up together. Oh, hello, Sir Cat. We're gonna go ahead and taunt you. An enemy has been slain. Sir Cat goes down. Rom's very weak. We're gonna try to zone for him. On my way. We're gonna go ahead and dash up. Kuzumbo would be the ideal target right here. Erlong is rotated again. We're gonna try to save our two to defend somebody. Our team's still pushing up. They're diving their front line pretty hard. We're gonna go ahead and pop Heavenly Wings. And that's a Neath that goes away. Now it's just Kuzubo left, Cat just spawned. We should be able to get the left Phoenix right here. Like, there's no way Sir Cat's gonna be able to manhandle four of us. Oh, we missed the ranged basic. Try to taunt the Erlong away from our team. He gets melted and turned on. Four people up, we are eyeballing the Cat. Thor's able to get the pick. Double stun, fat double stun. My goodness, that was a lot of damage. We're gonna go ahead and dash up. Kuzubo uses his ultimate, that's a double for Thor. Neath goes down. Now it is a 2v3. Three are pretty weak. This game is 40 to 11 right now. I mean, props to the enemy team for not surrendering, but I feel like this is a game where I definitely would have surrendered. We're gonna go ahead, pick up Pestilence. Pestilence is going to provide us 80 magical protections, 250 health. It has a passive that enemy gods within 55 units have their healing reduced by 25%. This does not stack with similar auras. So we went ahead and got a little bit of anti-heal. We know that Erlong has a heal. Neath probably has a little bit of life steal. So we're going to go ahead and pick up some anti-heal. If we did not want anti-heal, we could go into something like Talisman of Energy or Bulwark of Hope. Than you, master. Too bad. Too bad. Attack fire giant. We're gonna go ahead and start working on the fire giant. The fire giant is gonna provide our team with a buff that gives us HP5, MP5, and allows us to deal more damage to structures. Circuit is nearby. Go ahead, try to get the Sir Cat. It's definitely Cuckoo's now showing up. That's Cuckoo. We're gonna dash up, taunt the Cuckoo, activated two, three. Throw our ranged basic attacks, get some good damage off. We're gonna pop a shell onto our Gilgamesh. He is in a little bit of trouble. 
We're gonna go ahead and pop our heavenly. Merlin's able to get the pick onto the Cat. Go and mesh stuff fighting here. We get the taunt. We're gonna try to save this Merlin, but he dashed away from us. We get the taunt. We're gonna go ahead and ult in onto the Merlin. Get some good damage off. Merlin's able to clean up the Erlong. Gilgamesh is able to clean up the Kuzumbo. Wins all around for the team. We're gonna go ahead and start working on the Pyromancer. We're in the back. We're just short of having enough gold for Mantle of Discord. So cats here. Goodbye, Sir Cat. That was quick. She went down real quick. We're gonna go ahead and start working on Fire Giant. Enemy team's able to secure Primal Fury. But that's not really a concern to us. We're gonna go ahead and just rush the Phoenix. We have Rom here, so we should be able to take it out pretty easily. Neath is on the right Phoenix. Looks like Thor is able to stop her. We're gonna go ahead and start working on the tier 2 tower in mid. Enemy team has two down, we have one down. Three v three. I don't think we're really gonna try to push this right now. We get pushed under Phoenix. We are in a little bit of trouble. We're taking a decent amount of damage. We get pushed again. We gotta pop a shell. Dash out. Our team's able to get the Sir Cat. Erlong dashes in. Erlong gets one. Thor gets one. Just this Erlong Shen left. So we're gonna go all in on her. Or all in on him. We should be able to get this middle Phoenix now. We have 3k gold in the pocket. We're just going to tank some tower shots, pass it to Gilgamesh. That's three Phoenixes down. We should be able to close this game out pretty soon. We're going to go ahead and pick up Compassion, and we're also going to pick up Mantle of Discord. Mantle of Discord is going to provide us 60 physical protection, 60 magical protections, and 10% cooldown reduction. As a passive, that if you take damage below 30% health, you unleash a shockwave that stuns all enemies within a range of 20 units for one second and become immune to crowd control for one second. This effect cannot trigger more than once every 90 seconds. 
And then we picked up Compassion. Compassion is going to provide us 60 magical protections, 300 health, 45 HP 5, and 15 MP 5. It has a passive that you gain 8 gold per 5 seconds. Damage taken by an allied god within 7 units is going to re be reduced by 15% up to a maximum of 100 damage. The reduced damage is redirected to you as magical damage. If you were to die from this damage it does not get redirected or reduced. We're trying to get our team to stack on us right now. We're going to go ahead and use our ultimate. <laughs> Gilgamesh basically just gave it to us. He just stood there and looked at the Neath as we teleported in. That's two down on the enemy team. We should be able to push in right here. Three defending. We're gonna go ahead and just get a little bit of damage off. Step out. We get pushed. They're focusing us pretty hard. An enemy has been slain. This is Sir Cat Alt. And we're able to secure the victory. Well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really helps these videos out. If you feel like you learned anything at all, check out the channel and subscribe for more content. These stats for this game will be posted in just a moment. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.